this is me, Ron Lawson, homeless in Tucson, and uh, uh, we are presently at the Z Mansion, uh, where uh, they serve the homeless in many ways, and you will find that out because I'm going to introduce you to Rick. Rick. Here is Rick. Yes, here's Rick. So, tell us what's going on here, Rick. Uh, because of the daughter of the gentleman who uh, who founded this, uh, she said she wanted to do something for homeless people. So they started feeding people. Anyway, 16 years later, what you see here is a, is a feeding project that's expanded quite a bit. This is uh, what you would call an early church project. We call it work shift. Um, workship. Although this is a church. Workship, you say? Right. Mm -hmm. And although this is a church service, you won't see a lot of religious stuff going on around here, but let me show you what is going on. In this door right here, we have a medical clinic. In the medical clinic uh, today, we have uh, a pediatrician who's available, a physician. Uh, we have... Uh, uh, we have a nurse practitioner who can sign people up for help at our real clinic. Uh, and so we'll have people come in here with everything from blisters on their feet, serious medical problems, and we'll refer them out to the appropriate clinic. If we don't have a doctor, we just do first aid. If we do have a doctor, we can do whatever the doctor tells us we can do. Uh, these gentlemen are signing people up for access. So if people want to learn uh, about access insurance and get signed up for it, they can learn there. We're going to feed everybody here. Now, the interesting thing about this project is we don't accept any money donations at all, not a penny. Everything here is done by donations. So, but in our kitchen right here, and I'll walk you in this way. That's Em. She's, uh, she's in charge of the kitchen. Here's the kitchen. It's a licensed commercial kitchen, and we have fed as many as uh, between three and four hundred people a day, all with donated food, and uh, never run out of food again. Okay. This is where the weddings and other events usually take place. And so we have people out here, some are homeless, some are not, but everybody that comes and wants to get food can. Uh, we'll feed everybody. Uh, here starting about... Gatorade, uh, you know, water, orange juice, and so forth. And that's all I got to do is just walk around that floor. We have a charging station here so people can charge up their telephones. A lot of people have phones, but they, uh, they need to charge them up. On every second Sunday of the month, we have a veterinary clinic. And this is our veterinary clinic here. We can take a limited number of pets. The people who don't have the resources to have their pets see a veterinarian can come here. They can get their shots. They can get a checkup and get their dog licenses, you know, all that kind of stuff. And those are volunteer veterinarians. There's probably two of them here today. Or maybe three. Uh, there may be three veterinarians here today. And let me show you one more thing here. Or two more. This is a beautiful place. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Inside here, uh, it's already done, they've already done it. But you can just get this is the man from the cell. And we'll come in this room. And you can see they've made sack lunches. So whenever everybody leaves here, they can take a sack lunch with them, or even two if we have any leftovers. So. Uh, sometimes the young kids decorate them, put messages on them, and so forth. Mm -hmm. uh, so, then yeah, we'll look at one more thing. We don't have very much. Uh, Whatever is in there, people can have. We don't save anything. There are no rules. You don't have to sign up. The only rule that we have here is that people don't act out and cause trouble. As long as they don't cause trouble, everybody's welcome. We don't have to have an ID. 
Uh, if you had beer or less, okay. Uh, at, at our park, around 20 or more, we've got, sometimes we have dollars. There's a church here in town, Presbyterian Church, south side, south side. And they have a trailer that, that uh, has dollars in it. So what they'll do frequently is they'll bring the trailer to park behind the building here. And then we'll have showers for anybody that wants them. Uh, we do have two showers, but we use it for medical purposes. Because we don't have enough room to, for everybody to take a shower. So that's basically what we have in services going on right now. There's a lot of stuff on services. Yes. Well, well thank you, Rick. You're thank, welcome. Thank you for the grand tour. We appreciate it. Yeah, so here's three things to remember. Yes. We don't do money. We don't take money. If somebody wants to, to bring us some music and talk, whatever, whatever they feel moved to bring, or after anything they want, you know, they're, we're welcome and we love to accept it. No money. Uh, uh, the second one is that this is an early church project. This is uh, the Christian church project uh, process. But you won't see any religious services here as a part of the as a part of the Sunday meeting. So it's not what we're about. We're about freedom. And the third thing is, I always say volunteers, and anybody who wants to come down and see it and volunteer. Just walk in the door and tell us what you want to do. There are no problems. That's it. Thank you, Rick. You're Okay. Yes, so we are here at the uh, Z Mansion where they have the workshop project going on here. And I am Ron Austin. This is Pan Left Productions and the Carlos C. Figueroa Foundation uh, video series. And if you want to watch the rest of the series, you can watch it on YouTube or you can Google it, uh, Homeless in Tucson. And this will, within the next couple of days, it will be up on YouTube. So, thank you for watching.